Here we are again, my regular roundup show, this time for April 2024, for the best, most up to date, and most fresh tech and gear I can find. Fresh tech, fresh tech, fresh tech. First up, could there be an Apple smart ring on the way? Apple is apparently keen on making a ring that you can wear 24 seven without it bothering you. The early reports talk about a ring with a focus on health, sleep tracking and basic activity tracking. Now, according to a patent found by IT Home, the Apple Ring could have multiple other uses too. In the filing, there were diagrams that illustrate different interpretations of gestures and their potential as a control method. Now, these seem to work by using a variety of techniques. If the ring comes into contact with another finger, things get interesting. It seems like there's a pressure sensor in the ring that can detect when you're squeezing your fingers together. The diagrams also show how the Apple Watch can sense where the ring is in relation to your watch, so it can tell where the finger moves across the palm of the other hand. Now, 2024 does seem to be the year of the smart ring. Samsung and Honor have both announced their own plans. However, this is not a new category. The public got their first glimpse of Aura in 2015 when it launched through a Kickstarter campaign. Currently, it's on its third generation of hardware and the fourth one is slated for this year. And relative newcomer Ultra Human has also got in on the act. I'm testing this Ultra Human Ring Air. Be sure to subscribe to see my one week later review later this month and a longer term review to come too. Now, while Apple's AirPods might dominate the wireless earbuds market, Google's Pixel Buds are also gaining popularity. Google introduced their wireless earbuds in 2017 and now they're four generations deep, providing a cheaper alternative to AirPods. For example, right now on Amazon, you can buy the Google Pixel Buds Bro wireless earbuds, that's a mouthful, for only $130. $39. These brand name buds are at their lowest price all year with looks like a 30% discount. And in fact, when I checked at the start of April, they were available for even cheaper than that. Now they're available in lots of different colors, including an off-white color similar to AirPods. And a lot of people think they're more comfortable than AirPods too. The Google Buds fit securely in your ears with their flush to ear design instead of dangling. You'll find three different ear tip sizes to try out and find the right fit. And with just one charge, you can listen for up to 11 hours and up to 31 hours with the charging case. That's a longer battery life than AirPods. It's also one of the best reviewed Google earbuds online with more than 70% of shoppers giving them a full five-star review. Get them while they're hot. Next up, a lot of iPhones quietly got an unexpected boost last month during a recent iOS update. You won't find any mention of the secret upgrade in the Apple release notes for iOS 17.4, but owners have discovered that they can now charge their iPhone wirelessly much faster than before. Now these charging pads were always compatible, but they were slower compared to Apple approved ones. The surprise change is good news for iPhone 12 models specifically. This includes the iPhone 12, the 12 mini, the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max. Until recently, the fastest way to wirelessly charge an iPhone 12 was with a MagSafe certified charging pad. But after this update, it looks like iPhone 12 now has support for the wider magnetic charging tech QI2. This means you can use any charging pad, even ones not made by Apple, to get the fastest wireless charge possible. Now you can charge at 15 watts with a third party pad twice as fast as before at 7.5 watts. And if you have an iPhone 13 or 14, don't worry, iPhone 13 and 14 models started working faster with QI2 chargers after iOS 17.2 rolled out at the end of December. I definitely noticed that with my 13 mini when I was in Japan. And the iPhone 15 was the first to enable it from its day of release. Next up, let's go old school analog with no batteries required at all. It's useful to have a scale when you're packing a heavy bag for your upcoming trip. Don't get hit with huge fees. Make sure your bag is under the airline's weight limit before you get to the counter. Now, international airlines are super strict about carry-on weight, and even US airlines won't let you off easy if your checked bags are too heavy. Now, I've been using a scale like this for years, and I love that it doesn't need batteries. Check out my affiliate link in the description to get yours. It's cheap. Now, here's a fun story. You won't believe this, but there's an app called Palmsy that lets you post to a social media network with fans that exist 
only in your imagination. Palmsy is like a nicotine patch for social media addiction, keeping your posts hidden from the real world. Palmsy stores your posts on device, offline, and private. Now, Palmsy's App Store description says it lets you make little posts for yourself. And at its core, that's all you're doing. If you're not a fan of regular journaling or mind mapping apps, then this might be more your style. Or if you can't stop posting on social media or need a break, it could be a way to wean yourself off and get that little social reward without publicly sharing your stuff. Now, developer Pat Nakajima came up with a clever trick with the app uses your contacts to generate fake likes. According to TechCrunch, Nakajima clarified on threads that nothing leaves your device or is posted anywhere else. It's just pretend, he clarified. Now, if it's too weird to see fake likes from real friends, there's now an update that lets you control the number of fake likes what your posts get. You can also choose how long you want to receive them, for a few seconds to a few days. The app is free and only available on iOS, including both iPhone and iPad. Now, I'm using Palmsy on my 13 mini now. Check out how that's going. Now I've had my iPhone 13 mini for two years in my long-term review. I'll see you there.